Hey guys, windows. I hate windows. Window cleaners all suck. So I just wanted to kind of share with you the best way that I found and the quickest, you know, a one and done approach to get the windows done and move on. Uh, I always save those for last, of course, but uh, it just, it's something that really irritates me. Um, what you're gonna need for the process, a, a decent window cleaner, there's no great one. I use Vision by Angel Wax. Have some, have a magic eraser, especially one that's been soaking in a bucket. Um, I always, I'm always in the habit of having a couple soaking in the bucket, uh, especially used ones. Uh, the older used ones for the leather seats. A couple of these for windows. You want them saturated, and then when you pull it out of the bucket, don't completely wring out the water. Just wring it out a little bit so when you hold it up, it's not dripping, dripping wet. That way, when you apply the product, which I'm gonna show you this whole process here in a couple minutes, but when you apply the product and go to clean the window, this sponge, which it's a scrubbing sponge, it's not going to absorb the product you just sprayed in. If you pull it out of the bucket and just give it a little squeeze so it's not dripping uh, as you're using it, and you spray the product on, it's gonna keep it on the surface and you're gonna be able to use it to clean. So let me show you the process and hopefully this, uh, this makes your window cleaning uh, a lot easier. This tool goes down into the corners where it's kind of hard for your, your fingers can't squeeze into that shape there. So like I said, this is a great tool to get the windows done. Have a couple of good uh, dedicated window towels ready to go, three or four of them. Um, they're going to get a little bit more saturated than your normal process. But the most important thing at the end of your, your, your ritual, if you have OptiSeal, I use the QPON 3.0 as I do for just about everything. Um, you can use a spray sealant like the TI-22 from Angel Wax, whatever you might have. Seal the window because when it comes back, if you have a smoker, um, tainting the inside of the windshield that way, or if you have bugs coming at it the other way, it's gonna make it so much easier to clean. Okay, pull the magic eraser out of the bucket, wring it out just enough that it's not dripping wet. Uh, you'll be able to apply the product of your choice, your, your cleaning product, and it'll stay towards the surface of the sponge and start cleaning. If you try to apply it to a dry magic eraser, all it's going to do is completely absorb the product and it won't work. You'll find in most cases it takes just one pass to completely clean the, the glass. Then come in with a good quality dedicated window towel. I'll put a link down below for some good ones and uh, mop up and dry the, the glass completely. When it comes to cleaning the inside of the front and the rear windshield, um, the magic eraser comes in real handy. Getting in areas where your fingers can't get uh, access to especially between the, the glass and the rear brake, um, brake light assembly. And with this method, you're only gonna have to get in there once to clean, once to dry, and move on. This is extremely important to me uh, because I'm old and I'm not an extortionist. So I can't stay in these, uh, these awkward positions for long. So you just come in with the dedicated window towel mop up and dry completely. Now when you're done cleaning the windows and glass inside and out, an important step is to seal the windows and glass inside out. Um, for what I'm using right here, the Opti Seal, just apply to an applicator pad, microfiber or foam, or directly spray under the panel. Uh, with this chemical here, if it streaks, you're using too much. But you obviously don't have to use OptiSeal, you could use any sealant you come across um, or might have in stock, or you could use any coating or anything that seals a hard surface.
Feeling of the outside is quite important because of everything that can fly into it or get airborne from the roadways. Uh, but just as important is to get the inside. The inside is where a lot of the streaking occurs, um, fogging up, hazing from smokers. So a, a good sealant or a good coating, you can come in with a, just a damp rag or just spray a little bit of a mild cleaner onto a rag and you're going to be able to clean it up, get out of there, and you're done. Again, if you can, keep some magic erasers soaking in a bucket for the next time you need to clean them. Pull it out. Just wring it out enough so it's not dripping wet. Apply the product. It'll stay to the surface of your sponge. Clean one window at a time, dry it off. You won't have to come back to it and you won't have to mess around with going over it three, four, five times because of streaks. Then grab your favorite sealant. Seal the windows, windshield, back window, inside and out, and just see how easy it is to take care of the next time you get it in. If you have any comments, concerns, questions, or if you have a method you want to share with us, because I can't stand windows, as I've mentioned before, um, any tips, um, tricks would be great for all of us here. Don't hesitate to leave them behind here in a comment box. Again, Brian from Apex Detail. We'll catch you next.